so uh, i welcome uh, you everyone for the power drawings the past present and the future of energy conversion let me go through the introduction going through the fundamentals of power drawings uh, let us go quickly go to the table of contents first i will be giving a brief introduction about power drawings and what is the need of power drawings its history scope and the application of power drawings in the past present and the future and the various kinds of topologies used and uh, we will see through a couple of case studies and finally we will see in the what are the jobs in the power drawings field currently and in future and the targeted companies so before proceeding let me uh, quickly give a, a synonym about power drawings so if, I, if we say electrical uh, it is the free flow of power through a conductor and uh, the electronics means the free controlled flow of power through a semiconductor and the power electronics is the combination of these both things the flow of power through the conductor and the se semiconductor in a controlled manner uh, power electronics control so each word has a specific meaning so the power means the static and the rotating power uh, generation of electric power and the electronics is the signal circuit processing to meet the desired uh, control objectives what is the need of circuit and the control is the basically uh, the steady state uh, dynamic uh, characteristics of a like closed loop system so power electronics is the combination of all these things as i have said earlier uh, it's a solid states of electronics for the control and conversion of electric power so the need of power electronics why we need uh, power electronics for the energy conversion as we know that uh, fossil fuels is uh, depleting resource and it is a uh, basically limited resource and it is uh, depleting day by day and in a very short time so that is now currently being used for the energy generation and the population growth is there and so the energy generation is also uh, increasing day by day and the mega cities are uh, now everywhere and the transportation needs are uh, growing day by day so so we need to find an alternate renewable energy source before the depletion of fossil fuels and also uh, currently uh, in any uh, uh, like uh, power conversion uh, we need to enhance the efficiency improvement so so that we can reduce the co2 emission reduction so in all these kinds of things power electronics came into picture and it helps to do all these things like energy generation and uh, like uh, usability of renewable energy we will be do doing that using power electronics and the overall efficiency improvement can be done through power electronics so let us uh, see in detail so, so now we are going to see about the history uh, the power electronics field started to emerge in the late 1970s the invention of power mosfet uh, before that uh, the transistors were that was more like uh, like uh, logic logic levels and the, before the invention of power mosfets also that was like uh, more of logic levels and before the introduction of power mosfet uh, the power density uh, was uh, very less so that uh, for even logic circuits uh, the circuit and the components were of large of size and only after the invention of power mosfet in 1970s and uh, the power electronics uh, really started to emerge and uh, like uh, uh, then igbts was introduced in the 1980s so this started uh, the power electronics era these are the key elements in power electronics diode bjt mosfet igbts scrs and triac these are the main uh, elements of power electronics so now let us see through the scope of power electronics where where all it is used and the current uh, applications of uh, power electronics power electronics is there in our daily life automotive and traction and renewable energy systems defense and space utility systems and for any power level say like uh, from few watts to like 500 kilowatts energy conversion power electronics will be in role so these are all the applications of power electronics uh, say hvac systems air conditioning computer smps and going for uh, automotive interactions so like hybrid electric vehicles or steering in any automotive device so uh, last but not least like industrial applications everywhere power electronics is there so Uh, like in in our current day day to day life and the future so u mobility is going to be a lead in the transportation systems and robotic systems variable frequency drives drones home appliances uh, solar energy so industrial applications everywhere power electronics is going to be there so the power electronics the field where a lot of scope is there in present and future and 
there are a lot of opportunities uh, he is a picture with uh, the big energy conversion ranges uh, so for for motor drives energy conversion ranges lies from uh, uh, like 100 to 200 watts to 10 to 25 kilowatt and uh, ups ranges from uh, like few watts to 1 kilowatt 2 kilowatt uh, maybe up to 5 kilowatt and wind turbines is uh, one of the largest uh, energy range like 500 kilowatt and electric vehicle and hybrid vehicle uh, is emerging uh, from now so on the rail systems also is emerging so there are also power electronics is there so in in existing power electronic uh, power electronic system also we can do this cost reduction efficiency improvement size reduction weight reduction so this all can be done for the existing power electronic systems also there so what i was said earlier is the thing uh, where we can invent and in this slide uh, what i have telling is uh, efficiency improvement like improvement of the existing power electronic space the scope is uh, like uh, vast scope is there for power electronics so this are the application of power electronics in our day to day life wherever uh, the motor control uh, need to be there there certainly and definitely there will be power electronics role in that like uh, air conditioners hybrid vehicles washing machines and inverters and railway systems so these are all day to day uh, activities and uh, power electronics role is there so in the below thing solar gen energy generation uh, is typical so the dc will be produced uh, like generated in the solar cell and uh, using an inverter Uh, we will convert the dc to ac and we can use in appliances so renewable energy is uh, more possible uh, through power electronics and it's an uh, it's an must for uh, future applications the to the currently used topology is uh, for the energy conversion uh, so let us see uh, so the power conversion topology is uh, like uh, alternating current to direct current direct current to direct current dc to ac and again ac to ac and some ps these are the power conversion topologies widely used and the power supply topologies uh, like buck converter boost sepic flyback converter ka converter and zeta converter these are the power supply topologies widely used the power factor correction uh, power factor correction is basically the quality of power uh, what we use the useful power uh, that we are uh, like, uh, the useful power uh, neglecting the reactive power the power factor correction so these are the power factor correction uh, boost pfc dual boost bridgeless pfc totem pole bridgeless pfc and interleaved pfc if the pfc is uh, power factor for a uh, uh, household or industry is greater than 8.85 it's, uh, it's quality of power is higher so that uh, the useful power is higher so in the power factor control have a its own high priority and a lot of scope uh, in industrial so now this is applications the, uh, the actually the power electronics field is emerging started to emerge and it's growing day by day and a uh, lot of research areas is open in uh, in the field of power electronics and uh, uh, these are the specific uh, research uh, f- fields going on power electronics those are uh, electric drives and control a lot of research has been done from like say before power electronics um, started to emerge and uh, power converters Uh, power systems electronics in transportation systems and uh, energy conservation hvac control uh, renewable energy integration is a uh, lot of uh, power electronics research is going on and uh, a lot of scope is there so these are all the power electronics research going on currently so uh, let us see now see about the case study uh, one so power electronics in automotive uh, field so in a modern car so these are all the power electronic application in a single car so like uh, like say any sensors like a uh, water level washer level sensor coolant level sensor all of the electronics are embedded in a single engine control unit and that that is also done by power electronics so there also we need the power electronics to all of these controls in a automotive automotive electronics is a itself have a wide wide variety of applications and i'm not saying about anything about the electric vehicle that's a separate one and before going to that also in a, now hybrid vehicle also have this much applications so so just you can imagine how wide is the this field of power electronics and uh, just you can uh, you can imagine so like uh, headlights and tail lights anti lock brakes abs systems brake fluid sensor brake pedal and i may miss out some Uh, um, most of the things uh, as uh, this field is emerging day to day uh, so there is a lot 
wide variety of applications and uh, yeah oh, on on main thing in automotive uh, so electric uh, power steering uh, there also the motor control is applied and the hvac controls uh, air conditioning systems in car uh, like uh, there are a lot of uh, applications in car electronics in automotive field around so going to case study to electronics of recent trends so this will be like uh, in depth of power electronics so wh what are the types of uh, switches uh, we are going to use in power electronics uh, so that depicts in this picture so all of these power electronics components are all of silicon as per now uh, they uh, they are made up of uh, silicon um, substrate and uh, uh, it is less efficient compared to uh, silicon carbide and gallium nitrate so in this graph you can see that the si mosfet that is mainly like silicon mosfet the voltage range of silicon mosfet lies up to uh, like uh, 600 volt and uh, so this planar trench and super junction are of the topologies of the uh, materials it, it contains so the product a range is shown from low end to higher end so the silicon mosfet uh, dominates the current material and uh, it is less efficient compared to silicon carbide so sic is silicon carbide and most high end lies up to gallium nitrate so power supply uh, chain uh, mostly relies uh, now of uh, silicon mosfet and uh, for industrial applications uh, they are now using silicon carbide and gallium nitrate for automotive electronics uh, is widely used like uh, like after 2015 gallium nitrate came into market and now uh, research is going for uh, gallium nitrate for more than uh, 100 volt systems and currently gallium nitrate is uh, being used for only less than 100 volt systems so this kind of uh, these are the recent trends in uh, uh, power electronics uh, in component level and uh, the research is going on uh, for the improving the power supply chain for the gallium nitrate and silicon carbide uh, processor this is a more detailed thing and uh, we will be seeing it in a very detailed manner in the upcoming sessions favorite case study i will say uh, role of power electronics in e mobility so this lies in the uh, future of power electronics i will say and uh, the future of transport transportation systems also will be in e mobility like uh, uh, government started promoting to use uh, e mobility uh, to reduce the emission air pollution and to take in control of the uh, depleting uh, fossil fuel so e mobility is a uh, future of the uh, transportation systems and uh, this field is uh, growing uh, tremendously uh, like uh, in exponential level and uh, uh, wide variety of uh, uh, scope is there in e mobility go through the slide so this is the first slide uh, it shows the uh, uh, structure of the uh, electric vehicle uh, which is powered by battery and uh, there will be a drive train to drive the Uh, a vehicle so you can see the battery drive train and the charging plug so this the uh, wire, like uh, power electronics uh, will be applied from top to end in a hybrid electric vehicle and uh, so this is the overall picture of the uh, e mobility like uh, like uh, Tata Nexon uh, is one of the example of uh, a pure electric uh, vehicle uh, currently that's in market already uh, so going to the in depth Uh, in an electric vehicle so the inverter on board charger automotive electronics battery management system these are the four important topics uh, power electronics uh, plays a role and on board charger will charge the battery and the on board charger is uh, for different times like uh, time to grid and uh, charging it from an ac mains uh, to a dc uh, so the battery will be charging like that 